I'm 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 willing. I'm willing to hear you out. I, I, good thing I can't see what that is. The top four reasons why CS is 100% dead. Number one is competitiveness. Everybody already knows and agrees with this. Number two is overpop. Oh man! Wow. Okay. First off, I would just like to throw this out there that I thought this was about CSS, not CS. Okay, computer science versus cascading stylized sheets are extremely different. And so when he said it was competitive, I was genuinely confused there for a second. I took me. It took me a second to get there. Okay. CS being computer science, not that other thing. Wow. Okay. Whew. See, the thing is, is that here's this argument that I find that it's really, really difficult to, to be made. You come out of a boot camp. Let's say whatever it is. You're, you're, you're coming out of a boot camp. You're coming out of something. You've been doing it for six months, eight months. You've been practicing on your own. You've been doing your own thing. You've been building your own stuff. You've been effectively doing cyber plumbing where you're hooking up clerk. Uh, I don't know what else people use. Clerk, Vercel, all these kind of things. And that's what you can do, right? You're effectively primed to be a marketing site generator for a startup like Devin, right? Because Devin has a sign-in, but you can't actually even use anything useful. So you go and do that and you practice that for like eight months. And then you go out there and you're like, I want to be hired. And people are like, why should I hire you? You, you can't do anything that's distinct. Whereas you can do all of that exact same stuff that I just got done describing and be getting a computer science degree where there is just a foundation there that is also super duper useful. You know, just like we've been doing right now, building our own TCP connection and all those kind of things. I based that a lot, of, uh, a lot off of my networks class in which I had to do a lot of these things. And then later on, I had to build a video protocol. And then later on, I've had to do this many, many times. There's a lot of transferable skills. But I will say that I do think there is definitely a huge waste of time in college. I'm not saying that college is somehow this fantastic place. I'm not some, some fool that thinks that there is people that go to college and people that don't, right? That's just not how it works. Some of the best engineers engineers I've ever worked with have been self-taught engineers. It's not that you can't. I just think that it's very, very difficult, okay? Watch the whole video first. Why? Why would I watch the whole video first? We're going to talk about each point one at a time, okay? And if he memes on me at the end, that's just what happens, okay? You accept it. You go through it. You enjoy it, okay? But we're talking about this, okay? We're talking about this. No, because there's four points. We're going to talk about each of the four points. Dude, do you guys have, do you, do you guys have like goldfish memory problems? There's four points here. Population, it used to only be a few people doing this, and now everyone and their mom does it. Number three is growth. I don't think that that's a problem. Here's how I think about that argument, okay? First off, I can't wait for the MILFs to get into uh, computer science, okay? That will be great. Anyways, that's for everyone's mom. Uh, but besides for the moms, I will say that this is what happens, is that the old curve looks something like this, right? They're both normal distributions, assuming, well, they're not normal distributions. I actually assume they're alpha beta distributions. I think at one point it was more of a normal distribution, right? Where there was like the middle of the pack, and then there was approximately the same amount of people that were very skilled and the same amount of people that were underskilled kind of coming out of college within like the first, say, the first five years of industry, right? This could represent this. But now that we're seeing this huge influx of people that are all self-taught, all coming into it, I think we're seeing something that looks more like this, right? Where I think we've just shifted that line back. And so for you to be able to get a job, you have to kind of exceed pretty far into this curve, right? You have to get over the, the, the MILF curve. Uh, but you, like, I think this is what makes things a lot more hard in today's world is that we now live in a thing that's been a, a left shifted normal distribution effectively or a long tail alpha. What is this? This is called alpha beta distribution. And it just makes everything super duper hard. And I think that a lot of people, the majority of people falling into here are going to feel really disenfranchised. And this is where you're going to start getting people that uh, they, they want new guidelines. I think this is where a lot of... Uh, a lot of the angst in computer science and a lot of againstness of degrees comes from is that we should all be able to be self-taught in programming. It really it does not require a degree, but there is most certainly some really good things that come out of it. And I feel like getting a degree is kind of like getting a cheat code because you got four years to prepare versus six months, like just the time alone, right? Just the time alone is just such a huge benefit in comparison to going through six months. Like you get so much more, you just get so much more. This is not a MILFs diagram, okay? This is, guys, get off the MILFs, okay? Okay, and I think that if you're in, uh, if you're in college, that doesn't somehow relieve you of doing, side, of doing side quests. If you're not doing side quests, I don't see how this is gonna work out. Find good mentors is greater than boot camp or college. That's, a, that's an interesting, it's an interesting proposition. I don't know how to, what to do with that though, in the sense that mentors 
are fantastic during college. They're fantastic after college. They're fantastic during boot camps. They're fantastic at any point in your life. But mentors, a good mentor should be some sort of force multiplier. By you meeting with them, they should be able to say, take your learning rate, your acceleration rate, your success rate, whatever it is, and make it into like a 1.2, a 1.3, right? They're able to do something and make you move faster. But I don't know if you can say one's better than the other, right? I think that it's just simply a multiplier more than anything else. Grinding, you have to grind thousands of hours just to be average. And number four, maybe, but true. I think it just depends on what you grind. Do you know what I mean? It's true for anything. Well, it's true for anything, but I feel like uh, generally in our field, the, 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 the learning curve is a little bit larger. And so you can spend quite a bit of time. You know, like I think of us more like golf. It, it, it takes a lot of time to get good at it, right? It does take a lot of time. And some people are naturally gifted, and so their time is faster. Some people are not as naturally gifted. Generally, software engineers are paid statistically above average because it's such a hard thing to get good at, right? If it was simple to get good at, you wouldn't get paid a lot. It's real talk. Like, can we all agree to that? It makes sense, right? It, ge it genuinely makes, I mean, this is just, you shouldn't have to think too hard to go, okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense, which is good. It's good that you're in, like, if you really think about it, you want to be in a field that is hard. You want to be in a field that people pay you a lot because it's hard to do. Because if you're not in that field, man, like you're, you're living a life where I, like the closer and closer it starts getting to like warm body replace, which I think is just really hard. Like that's just such a hard place to work. I did that for years, man. Like being a server, sure, there's really talented servers out there and there are some people that are just genuinely better at being a server, but man, there's plenty of just low level server jobs and it is emotionally brutal. It is just unfun. It just is. I've been a dishwasher. I've worked a lot in restaurants and it is just hard. It is just hard stuff. All right. What's number four, four is cheating. Pretty much everybody does it and it makes it really unfair. And so, yeah, that's, I don't get the last one cheating. Let, let's just walk through his argument. Let's just pretend he's saying that everybody in school cheats to get their work done. Okay. Let's say that that's true. Well, then they're going to come out completely useless, right? They do. They come out useless. There really is no shortcut to learning. There just isn't. There's ways to learn faster, absolutely, but there is, there's just no shortcut. And so when I hear that, I think, okay, it, he must not be meaning that. He must be meaning something different. Uh, is he referring to nepotism? And what I mean by uh, nepotism, I mean that there's a group of people who are the in crowd. So they get these in treatments, uh, meaning that you're able to say, get a job easier because you have friends who are in it. So if you go to, say, Stanford, even if you cheated your way through school, you're friends with the guy that created something. Therefore, you just simply kind of get this easier pass into it. And I'm not sure how much that even is, is, is existing at this point as far as, like, software engineering goes. It's too competitive of a field, and too many people are wanting to be really good at it. So I am just completely... I, I just don't believe this. Like, I, I just don't. And especially this statement right here that says uh, uh, higher grades equals more likely to be higher. Uh, I think that might be true in non-American places. I, I don't know what that looks like in other places, right? So I can't really say the difference here. But I do not believe that in in the Americas, it's not like it, it does not work that way. It just do, it, it's, it's extremely difficult. I've never seen someone ask me a single thing about my college. I am from Asia, and no one has asked me about college. I, I assume there's there, there's plenty of places that are more that are more insistent about degrees and grades than there are in other places, right? I, I think that's reasonable. That's why the new Counter Strike game is just completely dead. It has some good game mechanics, but other than that, it's just inferior to other games. This also has nothing to do with computer science, by the way. He was right, though. Okay. I stand by everything I just said, okay? I, ref I, I, you know what? I'm not taking the L here. I just refuse. I refuse to take the L. I liked everything we just talked about. I refused. Dude, we had, we had the MILF chart go. We had a lot of discussions about people flooding into the field. Just absolutely, absolutely refuse to take anything but the, but the W here, okay? Just W's all around. Can we get W's in chat? I see some L's. I see some L's trying to creep in. But you know what? That was du d d just dubs right there, okay? MILF chart off, off the charts, all right? The name 
is Counter-Strike is dead because you know what? That game has always been not that much fun, okay? Ca okay, yeah, I'm saying it. I'm saying it now. I never really thought Counter-Strike was that great of a game, okay? I never loved it that much. I When I was a kid, it was all about Quake or Doom or Unreal Tournament. And as I got older, I became a Halo guy, okay? I, I loved Halo. I loved Halo. I loved Unreal. I loved those games, okay? I'm sorry. I just never thought CS was all that fantastic. I think CS just got really, really good because it had one of the best online servers in the earlier days, okay? That's all. That's what I'm saying, okay? Suck on that, yeah? You want you want an L take? There you go. There's my L take, okay? Not even like UT 2004, okay? I'm talking about UT 99, okay? The original. That's why I use phrase such as dodecahedron, okay? You know why? Because I played with the level, the level editor, okay? This take is so bad, it will turn off the sun in 15 minutes. <laughs> Get wrecked on. Get wrecked. A gen.